Greetings and welcome back to Academia School Simulator. I'm Catherine of Sky, and we are on our sixth day um, in the quarter and our students should be arriving very shortly. I think we're doing pretty well so far. Our transferees, are they arriving today? No, they're arriving in two days. So we have to live off of this tiny little about, bit of money for a little while um, until we can get those new students coming in here. Now, I wanted to expand the cafeteria a bit, um, but I kind of wanted to get the nursing done. Oh my gosh, six, 12 students are absent due to illness. No, um, I don't know. I think, I don't know if that affects our subsidy or not. But yeah, it's, it's hard times. I mean, these the wages and the utilities are no joke. They're very, very expensive. Um, and I bet probably I didn't do us any favors by building this huge computer lab. Um, and then the, the, the very big toilets as well, <laughs> because that's going to use more water. So we're going to have to find a way to balance this reasonably. Hopefully our new students coming in are going to... Um, do better. I don't know if there's like a maximum size per classroom or not, or if that affects anything, but we'll see. So, um, first thing, let's look at our to-do list. Uh, we can do school health. I think we'll, oh, we can't. Uh, all right, well, let's build a clinic and hire a nurse anyway, so that we can get, um, cause the transferees are coming in when? Two days in? Okay. Two days. We need them to come <laughs> quickly. Um, so I'm gonna, I wanna expand this computer lab vertically here, I think, and then the same with the library. We'll probably change the orientation of the shelves and stuff. Um, change the, hor the orientation of the entire library, I think. Uh, and then we need to expand the cafeteria as well. I, or I could put the nurse here. Maybe that's a good idea. That The tile walls would do, do very well for the nurse, I think. I don't know what, I've never built a nurse's zone before. So let's check out what the objects are like in the clinic. We've got a medicine cabinet, which is a two-tile object kind of thing, and then a clinic bed, which is also a two-tile object. So I think we'll just build it five wide as before. I think that seems like a good width. There we go. And we'll have our doors so they can enter from either side if our students are ill. I don't know what benefit the clinic confers on us, but uh, hopefully it will keep our students well. Let's see, what, what does the to-do list say? Now that you have soft... Oh, no, 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 no. School health. School health description, school health description. Gotcha. Okay, that's unfinished text that's obviously not in the game just yet. Um, but I'm sure it will be added at some point. We can use... Should we use bathroom tile? Eh, let's do concrete. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Uh, zones, make this a clinic. And we can always get that money later because it seems to be very, very good at analyzing what you already have in your school and doesn't make you build it again. Okay. Objects. Okay. What happened? What was that? What, what, what happened? Oh, did the whole day go past? Oh my god. I didn't realize that. Right, I should put it on slower speed. <laughs> Dear me. Okay. Wow. I didn't realize we'd gone through the entire day. All right. Um, clinic. Let's go to get a clinic bed. Let's just put down a few of these. Oh, we need to go this way. What about the medicine cabinet? Can we put it on the bottom? No. Oh, okay. So this is not ideal. The way I've done this uh, thing. Yeah, it's okay. We'll put down a few beds. We can shove them closer later we want to. Chair. What is a chair for? You need a chair for maybe here? I don't know. It strikes me as odd. Uh, staff, let's hire a nurse. Who is this that we've just hired? Hello, you're Johnny Frovine. Hello. Welcome. Welcome to the school. Okay, good. Uh, I don't know if that's where the chairs go. We'll see. 18 students are absent due to illness. Oh my God. That's awful. No. All right. The students are coming tomorrow. So our money should go up slightly. Not. Oh, wow. Look at the janitors just going in packs. Oh my God. The 
The nurse has nothing to do at the moment. Let's see what else. Okay, so lots of kids are going to the computer lab and the library. It makes me really happy that I've kind of put them in a centrally located place. Um, as far as our school goes, that's good. That's a good thing. Some go to the club, some to the computer lab, and some to the library. So these are basically entertainment venues, as, as I see it. Um, I also need to hire the, you know, I'm going to hire the teachers, just to make sure I have enough. Um, right, we don't have any doctorate degree teachers at the moment. So Vlad Tahoni. Let's just look at the master's degree level teachers. Hmm. Chris Brind looks good. Oh, we can find more. <gasps> Ooh, Rashad Basista. Wow, he's looking good. All right, let's hire him. Sergeant Novak. <laughs> cool, he's like in camouflage. And there's Chris Top. I love that. That's so charming. I love it. Reina Ab Abadia. Cool. Let's find more. Oh, wow. Madrout Stowe. Oh, he looks awesome. I like his, his avatar. And he's wearing orange. What good taste. <laughs> there's Emerita Viksayak. Huh. Oh my gosh. Let me hire... Actually, Guillermo Dunkel looks good. I'll hire you over here. And let's find more. <laughs> I'm going to look at more. <laughs> okay, here's Chris Hanbun. Cool. Wow. Bloom Gessert. Sean Vanilla. <laughs> With a name like that, yes. We're going to hire you too. <laughs> right. Okay, let's go to our zones. Um, they had both good skills, so we're going to add the, add the classroom. This is going to be the senior classroom. Um, and then we're going to hire, edit this classroom. This is going to be the junior classroom. Okay, so there we go. Junior students completed. And let's get our to-do list for senior students, and we can apply this one, and it will be also completed. Let's get our money a little bit up. Um, school health, yes. Let's apply this. It looks like we need to hire a second nurse, which, <laughs> really? Okay, we'll hire a second nurse. So who do we have here? This is, um, hello, Pascal Fernsler. Okay, cool. All right, so now we have the school prepared for juniors and seniors to come in. Hmm. Wondering if like one big cafeteria is not the idea. Maybe it's better to have a couple of smaller ones. But in any case, we're going to have to build this cafeteria much bigger. Um, I'm going to plan out the tables again. I thought that was a really good idea. Threes, three, three. We want to have many more tables here. Is that enough? Ish. We can even have some more lunch areas and some tables out here as well. Like we could make this whole thing the lunch area and then here, starting here, we could have more tables. Like there and there, have two more tables. That's, you know, 16 more students can sit there. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, I think that's good. All right, let's, um, should we do another one? Okay, I think that's fine. Okay, let's build this big area. 74 transferee students are coming tomorrow. Great. I'm happy to hear it. It's pretty cheap to actually lay this stuff out, so I'm, I'm happy about that. Um, I think we can also... I'm going to build a concrete tile to like maybe here Oopsies. or maybe here let's go here or should it be here let's go here um or in fact both of them because i'd like to build doors to go out so they can go straight to the toilets if they want to okay and then we'll build one right here as well possibly it's between the tables it seems like an okay thing Okay, that's very nice. I'm liking this. All right, let's demolish this wall here and get all of this with kitchen tile filled in. 
Wow, 74 transferee students have arrived. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, and here they all are learning new things. Yay, people are learning stuff, that's good. Okay, and let's get this stuff here in. And we'll get in our um, tables as well. Cafeteria, let's get our canteen table, boom. There we go. I'm hoping this will be around enough tables. We'll see, but <laughs> we'll see. Oh man. All right, let's get our benches. It's costing us a chunk of change every time. Missed a table here. I am kind of glad that I did not fire any workers because, man, they have plenty to do. I'll tell you that much. All right, let me remove the the marks, the layout marks. Okay, and I think we're going to need to just delete this zone. Zone edit, cafeteria, remove. And we'll just make this entire thing the cafeteria now. Ooh, the lettering. Is it too big now? Oh no. Huh? Wait. Why you not work thing? Um. <laughs> what happened? No. Uh, hold on. Let me pause the game. Oh. Okay. Don't zoom in that far. Right. Okay, we're having a few issues with zooming here. Like, having a little bit of performance issues. Um, maybe it's because of the zone? I don't know. Okay, we're getting a bit of a slowdown here. Okay. All right, let's go to the end of the day and see if that helps anything. On our to-do list, we also have school expansion 50, so we can increase, which we've already done, which is nice. And then there's 75. Let's go for that one as well. And 100. All right, so let's go for 100. Okay. Oh, we already have 100 students. What? How could we have 100 students? Oh, we have 144. Holy fuzzy cats. Yes. All right, we'll go for the next one then. <laughs> we earned quite a lot of money there. Okay. I want to see what's going on with the zone issue here. Okay, pause. Pause. There we go. Right. Zones. Cafeteria. I need a cafeteria. It doesn't want to take it. Why not? Oh no! Oh my goodness. Um. Wait, why is that a kitchen zone? All right, I'm not sure what happened there, but with a little bit of fiddling, I was able to get the cafeteria zone to be the entire room. So that was very useful. Um, I had a misplaced bench over here. I do need to build one over there. I kind of missed one of those guys. So let's just get our canteen bench placed there. And then another one placed here as soon as these workers remove the old one. All right, good job. <laughs> so funny. Right. Radio. So the next thing we would need to do, I'm thinking I'll, I'll expand the kitchen as well. and Not the kitchen, but these um, these thingies that I can't remember the name of. Food counters and stuff. Um, I think I want to have basically a similar setup to over here. We'll have these plate counters over here by the kitchen entrance. That. Okay, I think that is okay. Right. And I got our benches and tables and things all set up. Great. And I also want to get some garbage cans coming on here. Trash can, there we go. And we'll put one here. There we go. 
game does not like when I try to put something on top of a person. <laughs> I suppose they wouldn't like it either if I tried to put something on top of them. Uh, right, so. Wow, we have so many deliveries of food. Seems like a bit much, I have to say. Um, if I go to objects, do I need another garbage thing? I don't think so, but can I bake one? All. We can have a clinic bed, clock. We can also decorate. I think we should look at some of these decorative items this time. Let's get uh, some of these looked at. So a clock would be good in each of the rooms. There we go. Put a clock in each of the classrooms. I think that's a good idea. So the students can, <laughs> poor things, look and tick down the hours. Fan cools down a room. Okay, let's have a fan in here. Oh, you can have it on, uh, yeah, we'll have it next to the blackboard. Hopefully that'll cause um, students to pay more attention maybe. Uh, they'll at least be looking toward it. Fax, what is a fax for? In the old days, we called it a mojo. Oh my god. Oh man, that's funny. Right, we got lockers. Good for keeping your books and slipping in love letters. Oh, that's friendly. I remember how my school did it. They did it kind of along the sides of, of classrooms and things like that. We don't actually have one of those areas where we could do it. We could put them along this side of the clinic, maybe? Or here-ish? Man, I forgot about lockers. I didn't even think about them. Uh, what else we got? Potted plants? Yeah, those could be nice. Oh my gosh, look at this. Student desk is the wrong way. No. Oh my god, they're all the wrong way. <laughs> Dear god. No. Um, these are the correct way. These are all the correct way. Okay. So we'll get them sorted. Wow, look at how many people are. Oh, and there's like no place to sit. <gasps> That's not good. No. That is not good. Um, I think we need maybe less library bookshelves and more seating places. Okay, let's get this extended up a little bit here. I really want to just demolish all of these items. Let's see, dismantle, dismantle, dismantle. And I think I'm going to have the chairs going upward and have less, uh, can I delete those actually instead? Dismantle, okay. Oh, you just click on them individually. Okay, yeah, that's right. It's fine, demolishing seems to be like for floors and walls and things like that. I'm gonna dismantle all of this stuff as well. I think we can have maybe the library shelves on the sides. There we go. Things are going well. We need to demolish the wall because we don't want that here. We'll have a bigger library. Toilets look really full as well. I think we can, especially the girls' toilet because they don't have the urinals to fall back on. Uh, let's, let's help those folks out and build some more toilet cubes. Of course, that's probably going to spike our water usage. <laughs> no. oh God. We have water of 2070. After they fill these, you know what? I want to check. After they put these in, is it going to go up? I bet it is. Yeah, look at the money. It's draining away. 2070, right? Now it's 2420. Oh my God. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Gotcha. So let's build some things here. Let's build our books, library. We want to have our tables. We'll start down here. Okay, I think we won't put one right there. No, we should actually put them here. Just get rid of these. So I want to have the books along the side wall. Actually, this can be next to each other. We'll just have like groupings of two, like this. I think that's good. And we'll put our bookshelves along the wall. Oopsies. Okay. We'll just 
build it however long it needs to be. Now the other thing is, should I, I could put some more um, chairs here and stuff. Maybe that's a good idea too. Just kind of add a few extra tables on the side. That's nice. Let's go to our zones and delete the zones so far. And we also need to build some concrete, at least to here. If not, well, actually we need to go all the way, all the way out. And is that kind of the limit? Come on workers, do stuff now. Oh my God, the place is so dirty. <laughs> oh no. All right, let's get some janitors on the move here. We got three more. Janitor's place. Why are they hanging out in the clinic? Some of them are hungry. Oh, your health is getting better, actually. But for some reason, they're not using the beds. Why are they not in the beds? There's the nurse getting medicine. Okay. All right, well, let's um, see what they do. I hope they're gonna be okay. Are, they, are there that many that are sick? Good God. I may have to get some severe amount of nurses if they're all sick. Um, I'm thinking maybe I should just get these chairs and move them. Let's dismantle the chairs. And we'll put them elsewhere. Like, let's see, clinic. Let's get our chairs to be along the wall. Seven, eight. So basically it's like a waiting room for sick people, I'm thinking. We'll put some in front of the beds as well. Because why not? <laughs> let's get our plant. I found that plant. Um, there we go, potted plant. There we go, right there. That'll hopefully help them feel better. There's a stove. There's another trash dumpster if my other one gets too full. Don't know how to tell that though. Oh, oh my god, windows! Oh, there are windows! Oh, yes. There shall be windows everywhere because we love windows. We love windows here at our school. We shall not have no windows because life would be worse without windows. Right. Good. Now, we have our staff is going home right now. Too bad they didn't finish building the library. Oh well. Uh, right. How do we want to finish off the library? Let me just, maybe I'll build another row of chairs here. Objects. Let's get our tables. Yeah, that'll be fine, I think. Yeah, that's actually perfect. Build the wall, like, right here. People can go kind of that way. That's fine. We have room to um, go through the computer lab, too. Ooh, I need chairs for these, uh, these spots here. One, two, three, four. One, two, oops, three, three, four. These poor bushes are getting displaced by chairs, but it's a thing that has to be done. Yes. Right. Let's get them all clicked in here. Yeah, having a, like a click drag thing would be awesome for making things like chairs uh, or tables. Oh, this one's too close. No. All right, I'm going to take that one out then. Yeah, it'll be fine. We'll add more if if it warrants it, basically. Wow, these bookshelves look really weird from the side. I kind of don't like how they look from the side, I have to admit. Um, makes me feel like kind of rearranging the whole thing again. <laughs> Jeez. I could. I could just rearrange the entire thing again. Yeah, let me rearrange it. I'll be back. All right, I am almost done rearranging the library. 40 students are absent due to sickness. This is not good. I guess we need to hire maybe some more janitors. Let's go and 
get some of those. Um, yeah, it's been pretty rough, I have to say. Let's get the concrete in the rest of the library here. I think I've chosen a fairly good representation. I really wanted to show the books because the, the, the library um, shelves look really funky from the side. I'm not really a fan of this. Like this way. They kind of look like VCR tapes and then a table when you put them all in a row like that. So, um, actually that's not probably not a good place to put that. Here might be. Well, you know what, I'm, I might put a plant there instead. But I decided that I wanted some at the top of the, um, the top of the room as well. So let's go and make this a library. There we go. Boom. So now our students can come in there and they will be very happy. Yay! <laughs> Yay! We're gonna have entertainment for our students. Um, let's build some extra objects in there. Maybe um, some plants or something. Uh, potted plants, yeah. Where can we put these things? I kind of wanted these to be aisles, sort of, where they can go through. Yeah, we'll put one here, maybe. But otherwise, we're not having a lot of luck with spaces and spots. 40 students absent. That's a lot. Man. <laughs> we're going to have to get this sorted. How's the clinic doing? The clinic has a lot of students in there. It looks like I need more, more nurses. Let's get two more nurses here. They're rushing around. They are giving, oh, they're writing down stuff. Look at this. This one's giving some medicine. I love this. Look at he's pouring it into a spoon. Oh, that's adorable. Whoopsies. How did that happen? Okay. Sort of blinked me out there to um, very far out thing. Okay. And some of the students are getting in the beds. Oh my God. <laughs> that's even better. <laughs> Upside down and backward name. Hooray. That's <laughs> so funny. Oh my goodness. That's that's very entertaining. So it looks like they come in and they sit if they're feeling ill. And then the nurses, they take the symptoms down. They write it down. And then they give them some medicine. And I don't know what the criteria is for the beds. But I feel like I should add more beds for sure. Um, let me add some beds because this is just looking really... Really very sorry at the moment. Okay. I do have plants. Maybe that'll cheer them up. I am liking how the windows look though. Uh, remember we added some classroom windows in the classroom. Aren't they beautiful? Oh my God, my students can actually see outside. It's fantastic. Right, we should add windows in here too because um, we should add all the, all the things basically. Uh, the clock. We need to have a clock in here. Oopsies. There we go. Clock. And we'll have our... Um, we've got a plant. We don't really have much space for other plants. We have to like really expand this area. And windows. Nice. Gotta have windows. Oh my gosh. Look at this cafeteria. Boy. <laughs> There's so much stuff to do, and then, and the um, the lunch maker people are not even near done. Oh my god. Okay. So how are wait how are the students doing? Freshmen, sophomore, junior, seniors. Wow, they have low moods. Looks like people are being taught mostly stuff, but there's still light on uh, history, art, and PE. Um, I wish there was like an aggregate of like, you know, all the students' needs. Though it's good to know. Looks like they're actually keeping up their, their stuff fairly well, the fun and stuff. That's that's what I'm most concerned about is that they're going to be miserable at school um, and then they're going to go home and life is going to be worse for us and all kinds of stuff. All right, so here are our janitors. They seem to move in packs, these janitors. I think they're all going for the same spots. So, okay, now they're all going home, which is nice. Man, this is a mess. I think I'm going to have to hire some more. Um, let's hire some more staff. Get a couple of cooks in here. One, two. Hopefully they, that can help with all the dishes and stuff. All right, what is on our to-do list? Basically just the school expansion for now. There's also to 200 and 300, which is going to take some managing, that's for sure. 
Uh, we could stand to have a few more decorations out here. Um, these planters look very pretty. Um, what else is going on? Oh, you're still, are you caught? Oh no, you're, you're sort of caught. Um, can I just take this? Can you dismantle the chair? No? Can I fire you? You're a janitor, right? That was my fault. Um, I think because, yeah, we're not supposed to stay on the map this long. Why are you guys here? Oh, because I just hired you. Oh, no. <laughs> well, I'll see if we can. Let's fire them, too. Fire them, and hopefully we'll go to the next day. Yes, there we go. Okay. So not a good time to hire people at the end of the day like that. Okay. Let's hire our janitor. Whoopsies. And hire our two cooks back. Okay, cool. So um, I think that's going to do us for this episode. Our school is looking really nice. I'm, I'm, there's a lot of uh, traffic in here and man, oh man, we're going to have to really balance this carefully. Um, got our library. I don't know if this costs any money to run, like the library. I'm thinking the computer lab mostly takes the electricity. But yeah, this is, it probably generates more fun though. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. We will come back in the next episode with more fun times. So take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.